everybody, and welcome to the second episode of the CFB Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Pastor Mike, and... I'm Jeremy. Awesome. It's great to have you. Jeremy, what is the weather, man? What's the weather like? Well, Mike, I don't know if you noticed this morning, but it's a little, little bit cooler than before. It is. Yeah, the bottom is about to drop out of our warm summer we've been having, so it's going to be cooler. There were even some talk of snow flurries. Yes, please. And so, I, I mean, I'm excited about that. I know a lot of people aren't ready for it, well, but, you know, once snow comes, it's time to put that Christmas tree up, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know how everybody feels. I'd love to have it up well, right now. Yeah, but, I, I hear you. Yeah. You know, most people think of uh, the worst four-letter word as snow, and I think of it as the best four-letter word. Exactly. For those who don't know me, snow should be measured in feet, not inches. I'm yes. just saying. Yes. That's the way it was when I grew up. That's the way it should be. And we should get it a lot more than once or twice a year. Absolutely. Yes. You know, when you think about it. Some of your best memories in childhood are snowball fights, oh, yeah. sledding, oh, yeah. things like that. It's like, it's awesome. And yet, as we get older, we're like, I don't want no snow. Yeah. Yeah, there's some of the great memories, you know? Those, there's nothing like a good snow day. Nothing no, like and I, I think day. I think kids are missing something of not putting them in a carbureted car, manual transmission, rear wheel drive. Let's see how they do. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. So anyway, but yeah. Hey, tell us. I know we got some great sports going on. We got the Braves, right? Playing some basketball. Yep. Junior high Braves are busy this week. Uh, girls season is in full swing. They got four games Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Wow. And then uh, junior high boys basketball kicks off tonight. The boys are going to Sullivan. Awesome. So they've got home games uh, Tuesday and Thursday against uh, Siegel and against Robinson. So basketball, the hardwood is going to be heating up soon. So. It is. And then. Whoo, what a game we had Friday night, yes, man. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Absolute KZ domination of that opponent. Yes, because yes. we played two teams. We played Cumberland, and then there was this team in stripes that we played as well. They were few in number, but they were pretty powerful in influence. They yes. they, they were. Yep. So Just. that was exciting. That was a great night. Packed crowd. It was. Sinclair Vodoni Field. So, and other than that, 20 minutes or so rain that we got, it was a beautiful evening. It so. was. It was a great evening. And, in fact, they travel to Greenfield, right, Greenfield, for Saturday yeah. uh, for kickoff. at What time is kickoff? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock mm-hmm. kickoff time. Um, guys, if you can go and support them. That would be fantastic. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to go to this game. Uh, I've got some prior commitments, but uh, hopefully some others will be able to make it and support our, our young men out there as they, they battle. Yep, it's a great time of year for a nice playoff visit to a, a new school we haven't ever been to, and and just to go support those boys. They're awfully fun to watch this year. Good football team out there. Uh, coaching staff's done a great job with the boys. So hopefully hopefully we'll uh, have another W because Warriors st- it starts with W. That's right. That's right. And, we will uh, absolutely take that, you know. Absolutely, yep. But before that Saturday on Tuesday – Tuesday evening, our community campfire uh, at the Rocking Chair parking lot right there, uh, just to the east of the Rocking Chair, from 5 until 7.30, serving free pork burgers and free hot dogs. So as you're bringing your kids out for trick-or-treating, bring them over here for a uh, good uh, little warm-up meal. Um, it's free of charge, and just come in, have have a sandwich, and hang out for a little while, and, and just enjoy the time together. So that's going to be, Abs- be a big deal. So Absolutely, be- and we also have cars parked with their yes. trunks popped open or van with the back hatch you know today's world but we're gonna have that popped open and candy there for all the kids yes nice trunk or treat there it's yes candy so the kids can walk through correct nice safe environment right and exactly so they can fill I, up their goodie bags hopefully. and i know that it might be a little bit chilly and that's why we have a community campfire because there will be a campfire there yes. so you can warm up and we also are going to have hot chocolate this year yep. so uh that's going to be a great fantastic time yeah, it's always I, a great turnout always a good crowd and so come on out and be a part of that right yes yeah, so i know you know you may be wondering about the warmth and the kiddos and all but come on out have a great time get you something to eat you don't have to worry about food for the family that night you can just come on through and we'll take care of them we'll feed you we'll get some candy we'll sugar those kids up and send them home how's that sound hey that works for me i like that idea so that's what we're gonna do so we got some wonderful stuff going on there and really guys we we really want to let you know too at the church here of something we got going on that's just unbelievable we're starting a revelation study with pastor gene that's going to put that on and that's going to be sunday evenings at 6 p.m and i am hearing amazing things and i've had several comments from people outside our church wanting to know about that and i want let let people know that uh they're more than welcome 
Okay, yes. yep. it's not only for our church member members. This is not a closed meeting or anything. We invite anybody that wants to come uh, and hear uh, Pastor Gene uh, give his uh, study and his take on Revelation, which is unbelievable. The man has just got this down to a science, and it's phenomenal. Yes, so. our, our Sunday night service starts at six p.m. and uh, I've I've never sat under the study, but man, I've heard nothing but awesome things. So I know there's a lot of people excited about it. And like Mike said, uh, you don't have to come to our church on a regular basis. We'll be happy if you did, uh, yes. but um, you don't have to. You can uh, just be our guest and check out that Revelation study because I know it is full of blessing and it's uh, full of enrichment in the Book of Revelation. So yeah, and it's it's pretty crazy. I think. Um, we're seeing an events that's going on over in the Middle East right now, and uh, and I'm not going to be one that's that's pushing that up, but there are a lot of people that saying we could be in the end times, mm-hmm. and all I know is the Bible says that no man will know, yep. uh, but we are also supposed to be ready. So at yep. the same time, I think this is a good study to have at any time, but maybe even especially more so now. There's always good reminders of whenever we're cruising along in life and something happens and we think, you know what, we need to get back in. We need to study that about Revelation and, and what's Jesus' promise and, and, and what's going to be happening because we don't know. Like Pastor Mike said, man is not to know. Only he knows the hour. So. That's that's absolutely correct. And, you know, it, maybe you are out there and you're thinking, man, I, I, I need to get back to church, mm-hmm. you know, and to that I support you and say, amen, and we would love to have you. Um, we would o- welcome you with open arms at yeah. Casey First oh, yeah. Baptist Church. Um, but I will also say, if for some reason we're not the church for you, find a church, please. Yep. Please get in church and and then uh, be studying God's Word, that's yep. for sure. So, you know, it's a great thing that's going on in our community. You know, we're going to be talking about things coming up. we got we got candy canes on Main that's going to be coming up before we know it. Oh, yeah. You know, because it seems like after the community campfire, it's like, Man, we start start getting ready and start going all ready on the on the candy canes on Main because what an amazing time that is! And oh, I, I tell you, and you know that has grown up in just a few years, and the people they weren't organizers of that have just done a tremendous job of building that up into just such an awesome, awesome weekend. So I get excited about it. I know, I know. Last year, the reports I I heard, and this was from one of the news stations. I think WTWO had it. That there was over three thousand people downtown. I heard that as well. And so. and that's over the population of our city, by the way. So yep. you know, it's it's pretty crazy uh, that that amount of people. And on that note, is what the park is doing with the the lights in the park. Oh yes. My goodness, if you've not been out there for a few years, maybe you thought it was small and it's no big deal. My goodness gracious, has that grown? That is awesome. And just to see, one of my favorite things to do is to drive through and look at the signs next to the displays, just to see the organizations, the businesses, the individuals and families that have gotten involved in that, just to make that just so, so much bigger than it ever has been. And I know it grows every year. Um, you know, one of my family, one of our favorite things to do at Christmas time is to see Christmas lights and we go visit area towns we always make a couple rounds and uh, just to have that a a few blocks from our house be able to drive through and um, and it's it's just awesome so yeah if you haven't been through the park last few years make sure you do that it lights up I think Thanksgiving weekend I believe that's right that's why I'm kind of you know throwing out there I know it's a little ways away yeah uh, but just kind of get that in the back of your heads maybe start thinking about that making sure you make a trip into that because I got to tell you, uh, you know, for most of you know, I've not been in KZ all that long. I've been down here four years, and and it's grown crazy in just those four years. Yeah. So yeah. if you've not been years. there for a while, it, it is definitely worth putting on your calendar to go through there. And that's a lot of fun and, you know, yep. great time for the kids to, to go through and, uh, and everyone to go through there and see the lights. So, yep. yeah. So we got some great things that's going on. And by the way, you can you can check that out on Kenny Canes on Main on Facebook, too. Mm-hmm. You can find information on that. Uh, it's crazy stuff. So uh, make sure you're getting that marked on your calendars and ready for that. And, uh, you know, just help strengthen the family. Yep. So Absolutely. Yeah. So that's really all we've got this week. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. We want you to know that we love you and we care. So have a great week. And until next week, I'm Pastor Mike. I'm Jeremy. And we'll see you later.